So if you want to know how Peters can play that little segment, stay tuned. Welcome. This week, I want to take a look at one of my all-time favorite jazz drummers, Peter Erskine, famously known for his playing on Weather Report uh, and Steps Ahead and many other cool groups. But first, make sure to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell. All right. So on this phrase or this little segment is from a uh, album called John Patitucci. John Patitucci's first album, I believe his first solo album. And it's in a song called Searching Finding. Now, it's a, a pretty typical, you know, feel and a uh, swing feel. And the phrase in question has one element that I find particularly interesting. I will be offering up some exercises to help with that section. So make sure to keep watching. Okay, take a listen to this. Definitely swinging. Here it is, slow it down. It's a pretty cool phrase, but now Peter Riskin uses a really cool uh, concept or technique in the third and fourth bar of that phrase. If you accent uh, eighth note triplets in four note groupings, that creates the sense of half note triplets over a bar of four four. Now what he does here is he plays that concept, but he eliminates the actual accented note. So you get the other three notes of that grouping. So a really cool exercise you can do is just to go through the sequence of uh, four note groupings, accenting four note groupings in eighth note triplets. So what I'll do is I'll play the hi-hat as the accented note. <clears throat> now I'll do it slowly. So here's the, what I would consider the first and most easiest way to do this, which is to hit the accent on beat one uh, and, and go from there over a four bar phrase. Here we go. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Okay? So if we take away the accent, then you're left with this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Okay, so that's the first <coughs> concept or the first accenting approach. Then secondly, you would put the accent on the second triplet of beat one. So then that would sound like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. And eliminate the accent from there. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet. Okay, then you put the accented note on the third triplet. It sounds like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Okay, and 
and eliminate the accent. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, three triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. And um, lastly, you would put the accent on the first the first triplet of beat two. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. And of course, eliminate the accent. These all feel pretty much the same. It's just your perspective depends on where you decide to feel that accent or lack of accent. And in this case, also, Peters can decide to accent with the bass drum, hi hat, and uh, cymbal. In this case, if you're thinking four note groupings, it'd be uh, the third and fourth uh, triplets of those four note groupings, okay? So thus gives you that, that one phrase starting, on, or that one section starting on beat three of bar three, all right? It goes over the bar line from, from beat three to beat three of the last bar. So that'd be like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three, like that. Now, up to speed, that really has a cool sound. It's, it sounds like a real flourish. It sounds free almost. But nope, it's locked and loaded, and it swings real hard. So here it is once again, up to speed. Well, there you have it. I hope those exercises are some assistance. If you like this video, please click like and share it. Also, join me at join.aubreydrumlessons.com for more drumming information and lessons. Okay, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, show a little love and hit subscribe. Make sure to enable your notifications because I make these for you all on a weekly basis. Thank you.